another Walgreens haul. I am here to share the few deals that I did for the week starting on Sunday, June the 28th and will end on Saturday, July the 4th, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Nonetheless, I hopped in and out of the store yesterday in between errands with the hubby and I just pretty much did deals on repeat. That is my normal routine of how I like to go about doing things. I get my transactions together and then I will just duplicate transactions between accounts or doing them on the same account over and over again until I get the amount of product that I want and or use up all of my coupons, whichever happens first. Nonetheless, um, that is exactly how I shop when it comes to Walgreens. I like to not only share my hauls with you guys, but really explain what I do, why I do the things the way I do it, and how it has helped me be successful over time with couponing, with saving money, which is the top goal, and with building a significant stockpile as well. As we know at Walgreens, deals are always on repeat because they do not track. The only thing that limits you at Walgreens is if you are solely relying on digital coupons. If that is the case, I highly, highly recommend that you do multiple accounts. That way you can take advantage of multiple deals throughout the sales week. Instead of walking away with just two body washes or two laundry detergents, if you have two accounts, you could get four of each, right? So you want to make sure that you're shopping smart and shopping wisely when it comes to couponing. We shouldn't just be couponing just to use a coupon or just to obtain store money and then not really use the store money. I see that time and time again. We get so excited with doing these transactions. We earn all these points back. But then we don't use those points to keep rolling into other deals, gaining more store money, but at the same time building a stockpile and then also saving cash. So nonetheless, when it comes to these haul videos, whether I'm sharing a Walgreens, a CVS, Dollar General, Kroger's, wherever, I like to really break down what I do and why I do it the way I do in hopes that it helps you guys out. And as always, I encourage you to share any tips and tricks that you have when it comes to couponing, how you coupon, how you stay organized, how you move between accounts if you do shop with multiple accounts, anything that you have to share with the community here, always feel free to do so in the comments, okay? So, I have three transactions to share with you. Now, all three of these transactions were pretty much done. Um, on repeat throughout two of my cards. Again, just using up coupons and gaining the product that I wanted to get. This is the first round as this week is filled of deals as well. And we got some surprise deals that came about. So Walgreens is going to have us pretty busy this week, just like last week. Definitely comment and let me know what deals and deals you have picked up so far, any deals you are looking forward to getting out and doing. And we all have a there. deal on Old Spice Secret and Gillette deodorant. Select products are included in this deal and sell. They're on sale two for 10. The promotion is when you buy two, you get a $4 registered reward back. It is a buy deal, so you can use points to pay and you will get the points back. I picked up the Old Spice Fuji Spray. These were, again, two for 10. There's a digital coupon for $4 off two, making it $6. Now, It'll be $6. You can use 5,000 in points. You will pay the dollar plus your tax out of pocket. But instead, if I have to pay a dollar for anything, you guys know how I roll. I want to get as much product for that $1 cash out of pocket. So I actually built my transaction up on this one, and I'll show you that. Nonetheless, this here has a I bought a rebate for $1.25 back on both. So $2.50 coming back. Now, with this here, the Gillette gel deodorants are also part of the same promotion. The Gillette gel deodorants is also giving back a surprise $3 registered reward. Huge shout out to Clip Cat over on Instagram for posting this. She received, I guess, a DM from someone else and she reposted it, so thank you for that. I follow her on Instagram because she's always filled with a ton of information and she keeps us all in the know of what's going on over at Walgreens and other stores as well, I think. I think she does a few other stores. Nonetheless, I go to her page to see if there's anything happening with Walgreens that's not in the ad or not listed online. 
always follow your favorite couponing YouTubers across all social media platforms, okay? So this here, I did this this deal here about the Alibaba rebate. I did not do the Gillette um, gel deodorant deal simply because my store was already wiped clean. So that tells me that the deal is in fact actu um, actually working. So there are two for 10. There's a $3 off one digital coupon. They will break it down to $7. You can use 5,000 in points. You will pay $2 cash out of pocket. You will get back the $4 register reward for the weekly um, promotion, plus an additional $3 register reward. That's the unadvertised deal. I don't think it's advertised anywhere in the store. At least I didn't see it in my store. It may be just a Catalina promotion, unsure. But again, I sit in on ClipCat's um, Instagram and a bunch of other people had posted it as well. My store was cleared out, so I'm going to say yes. And it's in fact giving back the $4 register reward as well as the $3 register reward. Um, anyways, I didn't do it. My store was completely cleared out on those. So $7 would be your total. What I would always suggest is that you build your transaction up to roll in the next amount of points, which would be $10. So you can add in some of the Ajax um, dish liquid. They're $1.99 this week. We have 50 cent off one insert coupons as well as a 50 cent off digital coupon. Roll those in, pay $10 in points, just pay your tax out of pocket, and then you'll get back a total of $7 in register rewards. Again, four for the weekly promotion, and then three for the surprise um, register reward printing. This way you're getting dish soap, you're getting it for free anyway at Go because we're using store money. But this way, you're getting paid to buy, to buy the dish soap, which is something, of course, we all need. This soap is not giving back anything, but putting it in with the deal that is, you're getting money back on buying something that you would need to buy anyway, right? So enough rambling. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and share with you guys what I did so far. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any other deals and steals that you did, Leave those in the comments as well. So let's get All right, this. so let's quickly just go over this transaction here. Again, I did the Old Spice, two for 10, $4 digital coupon coming off. I threw in three of the Ajax dish detergents as they're $1.99 and again, 50 cent off coupons. I have no idea what I did with the receipt. I know I had it out here. Nonetheless, my subtotal was $10.42.47. I used 10,000 in points. Paid the difference cash out of pocket, which was, again, I think about 42 or 47 cents plus my tax. And I did get back the $4 register reward for the Old Spice. And then I also submitted to Ibotta for the rebate, $1.25, coming back on each. So this is just a simple way to build up that transaction. That way you're paying the least amount of cash out of pocket, getting more product for the buck as well. All right, moving on. All right, so on this first transaction, I am taking advantage of the weekly in-app perk for spend 25 and you get 5,000 points. I am stacking it with a paper spin booster that printed from the Catalina machine. It would for spend 20, get 5,000 points. One thing to note with the paper spin boosters that print from the Catalina machine, you cannot use points to pay. You cannot use points to pay. So anytime that you have one of those boosters, you want to try to structure your transaction where you're picking up items that have high value coupons and or items that will leave you an item free so that you can roll in a register reward to lower the amount of cash out of pocket you would have to pay. Now also to note, I'm stacking two different spin boosters. One is digital, one is paper, they will stack together. I did a video a few days ago that went through some information on stacking the weekly in-ad perk. I will leave that video link in a pinned comment for you. It has a ton of information as I'm just really walking through what I was planning to do to get ready for this week. And again, I do share what stacks and what doesn't stack with this week's in-ad perk. So definitely go and check that video out. Now, one thing to note also, I only need to spend up to or rather I only need to purchase up to the highest threshold amount, which is 25. I do not have to spend 45 in order to get the points back for both of the boosters, okay? And then of course, I need to make sure that my subtotal is at the spend 25, which is the highest booster before tax is added. 
and before any manufactured coupons are deducted. And then after all Walgreens coupons, which are the IVC coupons, any percentage off coupons, and then any threshold coupons as well. Again, I'll leave a ton of videos that you can reference in a pinned comment for you. So what I did is the Dove. Dove is buy one, get one 50% off. Buy two and you get a thousand points back. We have high value coupons for buy the Dove's women and you get the men's for free. The coupon is scanning automatically, giving you $6 off. I picked up the liners priced at $5.99. We have an IVC coupon for $2 off of one. After that IVC coupon was applied, I was still at the sub, well, I was actually above the subtotal of spend 25, so I was still good to go. And then we have a $3 manufactured coupon for the liners. Dude, he over here chasing flies. Hey, hey, Dora, don't eat Bob. Come on, man. All right, so let's go over the receipt. So the Women's Dove, $7.49, half off is $3.74. The Men's, $6.99, half off is $3.49. The Liners, $5.99. You see the IVC coupon came off for $2. You see where it says Point Coupon 20 Punch, that is for the Paper Spin Perk. Again, that printed from the Catalina machine. $6 coming off for the Dove. The $3 for the liners, and I wrote in two $5 register rewards from last week's deals. 70 cents is my subtotal with tax, 76 cents, and I got back a total of 12,000 points. 5,000 for the weekly in ad per, 5,000 for the spin Catalina, and then 2,000 for the dove. Now make sure you also submit your receipt to Fetch Rewards as Dove is part of their catalog. So here's the receipt once more. Now one thing to note, because of the spin catalog that I had, I wanted to make sure my cash out of pocket was as low as possible. So the way this transaction was built, again, allowed me to use high value coupons for the products I'm picking up and then also attach register rewards. So at Walgreens, as we know, you cannot have more manufactured coupons than product and register rewards are also um, counted into that. So on the Dove, for example, say we have two coupons. The Dove coupon is going to attach to that one and then to that one, leaving these two items free for my register rewards to attach to, okay? And then the liners had a manufactured coupon. So there you have that. Now, on this transaction, I am taking advantage of the weekly perks, spend 25, get 5,000 points. I am using points to pay and getting points back. I picked up the L'Oreal. They're two for eight. We have a $3 off to insert coupon as well as a digital. I picked up a set of Dove and the liners. And then the Garnier Fruities, they are two for seven. We have a $4 off to insert coupon or a $4 off to digital coupon. Let's look at the receipt. So the Dove rung up at $7.49 and then $3.49 half off for the men's. The L5 is two for eight. The Fruities, two for seven. $5.99 on the liners with the $2 IVC coming off. And again, after that IVC comes off, I have to make sure I'm still at a subtotal of $25 or more to qualify for the spend deal and get the 5,000 points back. All of my manufactured coupons apply. I use a $5 register reward from last week's deals, and I should have used another $5 register reward. However, I actually grabbed the $4 reward that I earned from the Old Spice. Nonetheless, my numbers were still the same, so I knew I was still able to use 5,000 in points and only pay the tax out of pocket. So the subtotal was $4.97 with tax $5.38. I used 5,000 in points. I paid 38 cent cash out of pocket, and I did get back a total of 6,000 points. 5,000 for the in-ad booster, and then 1,000 for the Dove. And again, remember to submit your receipt to Fetch Rewards as Dove does count towards their, um, their catalog. 
So looking at the receipt again, now the way I was able to use points is that my form of payment, which is my coupons, my manufactured coupons for Pacific items, as well as my manufactured register rewards, equaled my required spend amount, which was 25. So I paid $25. Yes, it was in the form of coupons, but at Walgreens, coupons are considered currency. So I paid $25 in coupons. Therefore, the remaining balance, I was able to use points to pay. So again, I used 5,000 in points and I still got back the 5,000 points for the weekly booster. Spend 25, get 5,000. So again, as I've stated plenty of times in numerous videos showing you guys how to use points to pay and get points back, it can be done. Again, I will leave a few other videos linked in a pinned comment for you. Definitely check those videos out if you need more details, more examples, so on and so forth. If you have the exact same coupons I have, you have the register rewards. They, you know, once your coupons equal your required spend amount of the 25 for this week's booster, you can use points to pay. You want to make sure that you're being careful as to how you're calculating your tax. Every state is different on how you're taxed. I have a video that explains how to calculate your tax. If you would like to go and watch that video, it will be linked in the pinned comment as well. As always, if you have questions about anything, leave it in the comments for me. I will do my very best to answer you as soon as possible. As always, thanks so very much. And until next time, guys, happy couponing.